Hey there, I'm Claire, and welcome to this little quick editing session. Today we're going to be editing this stop motion in Photoshop. So first, let's open up Lightroom. The images I'm using here have already been batch edited. Uh, so these 18 frames already have the same crop and same edit applied to all of them. I'm going to open them up in Photoshop all together by selecting uh, all of them and clicking open as layers. So as these files kind of load into Photoshop, they're going to basically found order, make sure they're all there. Looking good? Cool. So to start the stop motion, we're going to go to window and click timeline. From there, you're going to click create frame animation. And then over in this little box to the right, you're going to click make frames from layers. Then every single one of your layers is going to basically show up in your timeline. And just to show you these are some of the frames. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do since uh, my frames are currently backwards, I select all of them and click reverse frames. And I'm also going to change the frame duration to 0.1 seconds long, which actually seems pretty fast, so I'm going to change it to uh, 0.2 seconds. Oops, you know what? I just clicked that one. So let me select all of them and change all of them to 0.2 seconds. All right, let's see how that looks. Cool, I like that speed. I'm pretty satisfied with that. So to export them, we're going to go to File, Export, Save for Web. Now I'm going to show you how to save these in two different ways. First, I'm going to show you how to save it as a GIF or a GIF file. <laughs> I still had no idea which one is correct. <laughs> and uh, I just went ahead and changed the image size. And now I'm just renaming the file making sure to save it as a as a GIF file. Cool, so that was one way to basically export your stop motion. I'm gonna show you a different way. Uh, go down to render video this time. And this is going to render your video into an MP4 file, which allows you to share it on platforms like Instagram and Facebook. I'm pretty sure you can only share MP4 files for the actual feed posts, so. That's pretty much that. That's going to export now into an mp4 file, um, ready to be shared, and that's the finished product. Hell yeah. <laughs> that's it. <laughs>